Hayes Nation. Alright guys, this is peach milk uh, from the one and only Brian Lewis. And uh, it's a homebrew on a homebrew Wednesday! Wednesday! Alright. Woo! Ow! Alright, we're not even going to cut. I ain't going to stop it. Keep going, maybe do this in one take. Peaches for days. It smells like I've got a peach in my glass. It's good. Good smelling beer. It's a ton of peach. It tastes like a peach nectarine. It's got a silky mouth feel. Um, it's got a little bit of bitterness in the back end. You can definitely get a little bit of hops. Smell some hops in it. It's good stuff. Good stuff. So, set that over here for a second. Um, let's see. So today is uh, free bottle. Free bottle. Uh, so, today's Wednesday. I'm a day late. I usually do this on Tuesday evenings. But, man, fuck it, right? Fuck it. So, uh, Monday, found out that I am moving on in the SJ4 challenge. So, I've got to get my round two beers uh, bottled this weekend and have them shipped to my hub, which is going to be Chris Pastian Big C Hunter Nails. Um, so, I'll be taking care of that. So now I'll be getting some beers back. See how mine do. So, <clears throat> hopefully I can get, you know, do well. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I like, I like my second round beer. I think it's a good beer. I think it's a better beer than what I sent out for the first round. <sighs> my first round is not as good as that beer. But anyway, so, um, yeah, not really a whole lot going on. Um, I got some beer mail related items, so let me grab those. So, if you guys know what you're looking at, you know I've got, if you guys have been watching me for a second, you guys know that I have a barrel, right? So this is a 20, I think it's a 26 inch racking cane. 23 inch racking cane, uh, stainless steel, um, needs to be cleaned up and deburred. Um, I got this from Brew Hardware, and um, so I got a compression coupling there. Uh, stainless T, got a got a, um, a nipple for a um, it's a quarter inch uh, flare like you get like you guys use in your teasers um, on the back side of like your all your air and, and gas lines. Um, if you have quick disconnects, that's what that's what the thread is. Um, the threaded quick disconnects, that's what that is. So then I've got a small half MPT to three quarter. Now this is this is for PEX, a uh, plastic line. So this is brass, but it is for water. So I'm fine. So, um, so this slides over like that. So there's so there's a gap. So it's tight at this end. When I tighten down that, it's tight, airtight. So I can push CO2 in this side. So then it'll come out. I need to get a number eight uh, stopper and drill it. Uh, open it up. Open up the, the hole. So this will slide in there. And that'll be an airtight connection. So that'll push CO2 in. Down here. Blah, blah, blah. That'll be beer will go and out. So I'll transfer my barrel into kegs that way. Um, when you just use a regular auto siphon or just a typical siphon with a keg, you can't you can't get all the beer out. You leave quite a bit of beer in there just because you can't you can't manipulate that auto siphon around to get it um, in, into the beer where it collects. So that's what I got. That's what I've been waiting on. So it's pretty much done. Um, I need to run out and get a a couple number eight stoppers um, that'll fit in the hole, the bung hole <laughs> in my eight gallon barrel. So, talking about the eight gallon barrel, um, what I'm going to do is 
Um, so I'm probably going to try to brew Sunday. So I'm going to do um, try to get a seven gallon batch, which all my beers are. I'm usually get about anywhere between six and a half to seven gallons in a fermenter. So I'm going to try to get about anywhere from six and a half to seven gallons in a fermenter uh, this weekend. It's going to be the Russian Imperial Stout that I've been yanking about for the past couple days, couple weeks. Got to get it done. Da da da. That's what that's going to be. Um, so the plan is. Let's see, I'm going to do uh, two two batches, um, not in the same day. I'm not going to do a double batch. So I'm going to do two boils, I mean two beers basically, but same beer. Make about six and a half, seven gallons each, uh, each time. So once those are done fermenting, I'm going to take eight gallons, put it in the barrel. Um, take a gallon uh, for top off. Then I'm going to take the other four gallons and change depending on how much I've got and that's going to go into a uh, keg. I'll force carb that and I'll either um, drink it fresh or bottle it off um, as the uh, unbarreled version. So once it sits in the barrel for I don't know, probably two or three months maybe, um, I'm going to take that out um, then I'm going to add some coffee to it. So, do that. Then once that ages for, I don't know, three days, two or three days, depending on the amount of coffee and uh, how it tastes, um, then I'll uh, keg that, force carb it, and um, we'll go from there. I'll bottle that. That's definitely getting bottled. I doubt I'll, 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 doubt I'll uh, drink that fresh. But anyway, that's the plan. Um, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. Um, so, I think that's about it, guys. Um, Got a cheap, cheap barrel um, siphon. The whole thing, less than, I don't know, maybe about 30 bucks, maybe. As that shipping and everything is about 30 bucks. Um, I had to go with brass, of course, because I bought a piece of stainless, which, which was the um, half MPT with a 5 8 uh, full bore high flow. And supposedly that fit over this. Um, this is half inch tube stainless. And this is half inch OD stainless. Um, didn't work. So, anyway, I gotta figure it out. But that's it, guys. That's it. That's all I got. I'm gonna say, guys, cheers. And uh, thanks, Ryan. You really did me a kindness. Uh, sent me a ton of beers. Um, but, alright, guys, that's it. Cheers.